What is up guys, this is me Rico Gamer 80 I'm going to be showing you a review of the two new weapons of the Chinese New Year's. I'm a little disappointed and you're about to find out why. I'm extremely disappointed with this monkey's rifle because before you can unlock it for free in the tiers, you can actually buy this gun for $6.00. It's slightly a disappointment because the gun kind of sucks. It's exactly like the Little Italy. But the only part that's different is that it has more ammo. And the damage is a lot stronger than the Little Italy. Other than that, same reload time. Looks exactly like it. Sounds like it. The only thing that's different is that it's slightly stronger. And it has way more ammo than the Little Italy would have. But overall this gun is kind of like fun to like mess around with but if you want to do like a serious free-for-all match or a team match you might possibly die with this because all you'll see is a uh, rocket launchers and all that yeah it's pretty much it not much to say but I am kind of disappointed all right on to the new weapon which everyone has been waiting for. It's the staff, the monkey. Sorry about that, the monkey staff. Sorry if I'm like messing up. I stayed up all night for the event to start. But yeah, the monkey staff. This gun looks awesome, but it's actually weird to control. It's the weirdest gun I've ever handled. It's really confusing. Look at this. Take no splash damage. We're not even sure if it's an energy weapon or a, you know, a missile launcher weapon, you know. The hardest part is since it doesn't do splash damage, you have to be directly on the enemy. It takes about two shots. But if you're like slightly close to the enemy, it won't really do much. See how I'm like missing? You have to be on the enemy. Which is kind of hard to mess with online because everyone's going to be moving around, doing zigzags, using the bubble shield, or mostly using stealth. But other than that, the gun is a little frustrating to mess with. But it is kind of good to use in uh, missions. But other than that, playing online, it might be a little difficult. I'm not sure. It's up to you guys, depending how good you are with specific weapons but to me I like this gun way better than the monkey's rifle because this proves that you have really good aiming really good accuracy and that's pretty much it to tell there's not much auto aim on it as you can see right now this gun even though it kinda sucks and it's weird it basically proves if you really have good aim on the gun or staff yeah, reload is really fast. It takes a little long to shoot. It's kind of slow at shooting. But overall, this gun is kind of worth it. But if you guys don't like it, then I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry about like how crappy I sound. Again, I stayed up all night, tried to unlock these two weapons. And I did, which was kind of slightly a disappointment. I do like the staff. It's just the monkey rifle. I'm really, just really disappointed on how bad they, how bad of a job they did on this gun. It's exactly like the Little Italy. And it's just the more frustrating part, even though I already said it, but the most frustrating part is that you can buy it, but it's not even worth it. And even worth the price. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry for the lack of video. I'm just really tired. And you guys want to know if it's worth it. Or what does it look like. Or how is it uh, supposed to be used. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I'm not really sure if it's a energy weapon. Or a missile launcher. The monkey staff. But we'll find out in future updates if this gun would be useful or not.
But yeah, leave a like if you want. Subscribe to my channel if you want. And I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace.